This tutorial is on how to organize your computer. Uh, for this tutorial, I'm going to be using a fresh copy of Windows 7, ran in a virtual machine. So all of the hard drives and everything are going to be a lot smaller than what you would normally see in a normal computer. Um, basically, what we're going to do is go through how to organize your computer so that you don't lose any of your files if you were to ever have a crash. The first thing to do is to create a partition in your hard drive. So to do this we're going to open the control panel. You go to your administrative tools and select computer management. And you're going to click on Disk Management. When your Disk Management comes up, in order to create a partition off of your C drive, because normally the C drive isn't partitioned when you first get a computer, you're going to right click on it and select Shrink Volume. Okay, and in this, I'm able to shrink just about 30 gigabytes. And I'm going to go ahead and shrink it all. Okay, now you see that I have a new volume here of 29.26 gigabytes of unallocated space. In order to make this usable, you have to right-click on it and select New Simple Volume. And click Next. You can use the full amount there. You'll assign it a drive letter. And then click next. Now you can label this volume. For this we'll label it storage. And then click next and finish. Okay, now that it's finished formatting, the volume is able to be used. So you're finished with this, you can go ahead and close out of it. Now if you look, you have an extra drive inside of your, inside of your drive area. You can click on that drive and it's empty. Basically what this does is separates all of your stored files from your operating system. So if anything were to happen to your operating system, you can do a fresh install of the operating system and you never have to worry about losing the stuff that's on the storage drive. Now when you're going to organize it, you're going to want to create folders. Let's say we do a lot of Word documents. So we'll do a Word doc. I'm going to create a new folder and we'll call it pictures. And then a new folder. You can also click up here to create new folders. And we'll call this one PowerPoint. documents. You can see if you just want to click up here to create a new folder, you can do a new folder, music, and basically the way that you have it set up, so you have your folders for all your different things, you know, your Word documents, your pictures, your PowerPoints, your music, And then, the only thing you'll have left to do is map to those drives.
So what we're going to do is open up Microsoft Word, and I'm going to show you how to set up the settings in Word so that every time you go to save a document, it goes to the Word documents on your G drive, on your storage drive. So you click on File, and you'll go down to the Options setting. And you click on save. And you can change both of the auto recover and default file locations to the G drive under Word doc. And click OK. and then click OK. And you can do this with pretty much any program. Now anytime that you go to save something, so we'll do a test here, and then click Save, it just automatically saves it in that file location. And there's really nothing more to trying to get your computer organized. Everything can say you can have every program saved to the file locations that you want them to. And once you do that, all of your pictures, your documents, everything that you have to do will save to specific file locations and you'll have more of an organized layout of your computer. And it's a lot safer this way as well. Um, for this, I used Windows 7. Uh, Windows XP is a little bit different. So we'll go ahead and bring up Windows XP. Okay, so you right-click on Computer and you select Manage. And then you can go to its Disk Management. Um, Windows XP is a little bit different than Windows 7. You're not allowed to shrink the volumes in Windows XP on the C drive. So what you're going to want to do for Windows XP is you would want to have a second hard drive, kind of like it's showing on this one. With Windows XP, in order to have the same setup, you have to have the second hard drive here. And then that's where you would put all of your saved files. Um, either that or you have to partition Windows XP before it's ever installed. Uh, I hope this was helpful for, for everybody.